Let's go inside, drill some holes, half inch. We're gonna install this straight through here, all the way across. So right here, I was gonna drill some half inch holes and then slide them right into this stator right here and then just screw it my, my half inch bolts and do it that way. But I bought two different half inch bits and they just doled out on me. So instead, we're gonna go ahead and cut this. That way we can slide it over this instead of using a cutoff wheel. Go outside and do this. Just using a measuring tape, I Planted it right here and measured out the amount of lines. And what I counted was five lines, as you can see. So I took that measurement and just did the same thing. Put it there and marked my fifth line. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go outside and cut this. That way this can slide on top of this. So now we're gonna go outside and drill an eight millimeter hole. That way we can install this rod right in here. All the way across is the eight millimeter drill bit purchased from Amazon. And this is the shock absorber that I went with. So we're gonna install this like that. As long as that's in place, I'm able to make my adjustment on where I want it to sit at. Right now I have it sitting on the weight. If it wasn't for this weight, it'll be just flatten down. Now we want to install the top 
absorber and mount that but we want to be sure that our scooter is not sitting too low or it's not sitting too high at the back end so it doesn't look so funny so let's go ahead and get this in place and get this situated originally i was going to get this back motor and mount it on the original frame but it was kind of a tight area and this suspension this shock absorber just would have been in a tight spot so i went with this and like i said it's still kind of a prototype it's something i'm still putting together it's really not all the way thought through yet one thing i can say so it is working out pretty well so far however this rod is gonna have to be swapped out with something thicker obviously that was something i already seen happening i just went on ahead and did this you know, I, I was expecting for it to kind of bend, and that's what happened. It went down and it bent. So I'm gonna replace this eight millimeter. This came as a two pack. So I use this one for up top, and down here, I'm gonna end up doing something like maybe a, a half inch, something like this thick. And I'm either gonna weld that in place. It's still a prototype. It's something that's still coming together. So. Just something to look forward to, fellas. millimeter rod came as a two pack i have one up top that one i'm keeping up there and the second one i installed right here at the bottom all the way across through this hole and that's where my shock absorber was sitting at as you can see this eight millimeter rod couldn't withstand the pressure the weight and it did get a bend so what i'm gonna do is replace this with a half inch well not really a rod but one of these bolts right here it came as a two pack. So I'm gonna use that instead. What I'm gonna do is go outside and make my cuts, have that fit right inside there, take off this black paint and weld that in place. I'll replace the eight millimeter with a half inch. That's what this is, this is a half inch. This came in a two pack. So instead of having to buy something off of Amazon, I just cut off the threads and the back bolt part. Now it sits in there perfectly. This is the old one. And this is what I'm going to be replacing it with. So I just got done making this using a stick welder. This is what my shock absorber is gonna be sitting inside. Now we're gonna go outside and drill some eight millimeter holes straight across this. That way we can get this to fall in place. So I got my shock absorber sitting inside this little housing. I went outside and drilled my eight millimeter hose and I ended up using the original screw. So in case I decide to take that off, I just have to use, I think a, a hex key for this and it, it gets undone. So now I have this, weld this onto the fork and then I'm gonna make my adjustments up top. So I'm gonna have to readjust the hose and just forget about the existing hose. So my scooter is finally completed. Now I do want to say there is better ways of doing this. You know, it doesn't have to be done this way. I do want to say that these plates here are 1 8, 1 8 steel plates. This shock absorber is 1500 pounds of pressure. I do plan on adding a brake caliber here on the outside and getting a brake disc for this. But for the meantime, I'm going to be adding the regenerator braking for the back wheel so the controller i'm gonna be depending on the controller to force this wheel to stop as i was adding this half inch bar across from axle to axle after i was already done i noticed that this little shock absorber mount started making its way closer to the tire but it's really not risking anything so i left it the way it is and it still holds up perfectly this is what it looks like for now 
this rod up here, I may just end up cutting it and then tacking it with welds or I'm not too sure yet. I may just solder something from here to here. Still a lot of options that I got going on.